Oh my gosh, it, it's really important to get out there. We need to know how our country is expanding and growing and changing, and we want everybody to be represented. It's, it's the best thing that you can do to get the funding where we need it. So it's very essential that everyone's counted in the 2020 census. Um, especially as an educator, it's essential to know who is living where, where funds should be going. You know, the census asks a lot of important questions about where you're living, what your income is, how many people are in your family, who the main um, person who works in the family is, and that's all important for us as educators. That goes into a lot of our federal funding. So if the government is gonna try and make some infrastructural change, so let's say, let's support um, the roads, right? Like it makes sense to kind of get an idea of how many people are using the roads. So that, that's a stand-in, but I'd imagine like supporting healthcare or any other variation of things that would require you to know how many people require said need. So at a baseline, how many people do we have here? And all that other demographic stuff. It's important in understanding our population, total population, but also per state and in different districts. The population dictates every 10 years the representation in um, the House of Representatives, which they have to move around, which is the Electoral College, which affects the presidential vote. Working with limited resources, when you have limited amounts of money, limited amounts of effort, limited amounts of supplies, you need to know how to designate those resources in the most effective and efficient manner. And you can't do that if you don't know the people that you're serving. So in order to effectively get people what they need, you gotta know who's there. And you need to know how many.